Hey, time for number five. That's right, here we have yet another 25 abilities Pokemon should or shouldn't have. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that I won't be counting Gen 8 or 9 abilities that would suit cut Pokemon, right? Well, either way, now it's fresh in your head. So with that, this intro is donezo. Let's go. Number one. Quackwavel can't have tangled feet, so if you've seen this Pokemon's in-game animations, it should be obvious to you why this is a problem. And if you haven't seen them, well... Now you have. I don't think any more needs to be said here. Number 2. Cuffagrigus and Runarigus can't have Perish Body, but that's Cursula's signature ability! Uh oh, back in action, I see. Cuffagrigus is a coffin, something you put dead bodies inside of. And plus, both it and Runarigus have the word death in their Japanese names, so Perish Body would make so much sense on them. Number 3. Abomasnow, Crabominable, and Frostmoth can't have Snow Cloak. That just makes no f sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. They're ice types with snow white bodies. They have Snow Cloak written all over them, especially Abomasnow, because get this according to its Scarlet Dex entry, it hides itself by whipping up blizzards. Oh, this is so cold, Game Freak. It's like if Rock Pokemon couldn't have. Oh no, 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 not more, not more, not more! <sighs> Number 4. Male Meowstic can't have Friend Guard. And that's not so bad. Now, you might think the Pokedex might explain this, but I checked, and it does not. And I don't know why I thought this was a bad thing. I mean, all I found in the Pokedex was a couple of entries that say stuff like he only unleashes his full power when protecting his partners and he prefers supporting his allies over attacking, but I don't think any of that really means anything. So, you know what? Forget I brought this up. Do you maybe want to talk about sarcasm instead? Because I really need someone to teach me what that means. Number 5. Quagsire and Clodsire can't have Cloud9 or Oblivious. Oh, Game Freak's all like, Uh, these two Pokémon who are known for being spaced out and dim-witted and can have unaware and one of which has dex entries that go on about how numbskulled it is always crashing into boats and rocks? Let's not give them Oblivious or Cloud9 because that's our job right now. Oh, and maybe some other Pokémon should be here too. But no, we can't be bothered. Number 6. Alolan Marowak can't have Flash Fire. Let's go to the Pokedex, cause where else, right? A few of Marowak's entries say stuff like it controls fire and it sets its bone on fire itself. So it seems like a poster Pokemon for Flash Fire, wouldn't you agree? Uh, this kinda gives me flashbacks to how Deden can't have Volt Absorb. D wait, what's Togedemaru doing here? Oh, you better not frickin' tell me! Of course. Number 7. Meowth can't have Super Luck. Alright, seriously, Game Freak, this is really getting old. Meowth is based on the Maneki Neko, also known as Lucky Cat, yet it can't have Super Luck. You know, I've already gone over a lot of Pokémon who don't have this ability even though, for one reason or another, they should, but Meowth just might be the worst case yet. Well, except for maybe Chansey, but still. I hope and pray that I never have to talk about Super Luck in this series again. And I probably just jinx myself. Number 8. Jolteon can't have Static, and Flareon can't have Flame Body. Okay, so Jolteon's an Electric type, and has Dex entries that say things like its fur has Static electricity, but it can't have Static, and Flareon, who is Fire type, and has Dex entries that say things like its body temperature can reach over 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, can't have Flame Body? Uh, it, I, I, I don't, I just, I can't, I don't, I just can't. Number 9. Ninetales can't have Cursed Body. Do I even have to say Pokedex? According to Ninetales' shield entry, touching one of its tails could result in a thousand-year curse. You sure about that, Pokedex? Because right now, I'm touching the crap out of all of its tails, but I don't feel any curse. Uh, you really gotta check your facts. And a lot of them, too, because I've got more! Alolan Sandslash, whose spikes are sheathed in ice, can't have Ice Body, and Toucanon, whose beak heats up, can't have Flame Body. Pokedex, I've got one word to say to you. LIAR! Number 10. Ivysaur and Venusaur can't have Aroma Veil. Oh, this whole Veil thing's getting old too! These Pokémon both have several Dex entries that say their bulb and flower, respectively, give off a pleasant aroma, and not to mention, they can learn Sweet Scent by level up. So they should be able to have Aroma Veil, no? Oh, I just know there are more of you lousy conspirators out there. Show yourselves! And... And... Uh, I never want to have to bring up a Veil ability again. Oh, uh, and there I go jinxing myself again. Number 11. Carvana and Sharpedo can't have strong jaw. You've got to be kidding. This piranha and shark, two creatures known for having dangerous bites, can't have strong jaw! At least Sharpedo gets it when it mega evolves! So f 
WHAT?! It should be able to have it no matter what stage it's at! Oh, this one seems to be a recurring problem too! And let me guess, there are even more! Let's see them! Oh, if I ever have to talk about Strong Jaw again... Oh, sh why can't I stop jinxing myself?! Number 12. Magnezone can't have levitate. Now, yes, I know there are other non-flying types who can fly or float that can't have levitate, but come on, this one's a freaking UFO. Not good enough? Then how about the, you know what? It flies through the night sky? It zooms through the sky? Yeah, I think you get the point. Oh, wait, there's more, aren't there? Uh, I figured as much. Number 13. My dragon can't have gluttony. You might think that's not so bad. Well, it does have three mouths, so surely it must eat a good bit more than the average Pokemon, but enough to justify having the gluttony ability? Eh, I wouldn't say definitely. So let's go to... <sighs> Look, I know by now you must be getting sick of looking at the Pokedex all the damn time, but typically it's one of, if not the only efficient means of getting information to back up my arguments. So please bear with me. According to a few of my dragon's entries, with all three of its heads, it consumes and devours everything in its path. Yeah, I'd say that's a paragon of gluttony. Number 14. Gengar and the Sneasel line can't have Prankster. So when you think about these Pokémon, what does it look like? Do you imagine, like, well-behaved angels, or more like misbehaved devils? Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people would go with the latter. So Prankster, I'd say, would really suit them. I mean, at least hell of a lot more than Cottony. Cottony's like that one kid who always misbehaves when the adults aren't looking, but never gets blamed or even suspected because they just look so innocent and harmless, especially right next to the more capable-looking older kids. It's always the quiet ones. Number 15. Dreadnought can't have Rockhead. For this one. Get out of my head! Number 16. Skarmory, Sceptile, Leafeon, Levani, and Midday Form Lycanroc can't have sharpness. Aw, oh, seriously, don't you conspiracy groups have member limits? Just take a guess where I'm about to go. I'm confident you already know, so I won't even say it. Yes, all these Pokémon each have at least one entry that speaks to the sharpness of their respective body parts. And yet, they can't have sharpness. Oh, and wait, there's more. Skarmory, the armor bird Pokémon, also can't have battle armor, and Lycanroc also can't have rough skin. Oh, Arceus, how am I still alive? Number 17. All these bird Pokémon can't have big pecs. Oh, uh, all these big, strong, brave birds who use their beaks a lot. Well, some more than others. Can't have big pecs? In case you didn't know, this ability's name, both in Japanese and English, is a double entendre. Don't worry, it's a clean one. You might already know the English one, which refers to the pectoral muscles as well as pecking, as in with the beak. But its Japanese name, Hatomune, can be taken to mean pigeon breast and proud heart. So, in total, big pecs has three different implications. Pectoral muscles, beaks, and pride. And no matter which of those you want to emphasize, I highly doubt you'll be able to find any good arguments as to why, when tiny Tiny birds like these can have the ability, these bigger, better birds can't. D wait a minute, go back a second. Are you sh me right now? Fletchlink and Rookity can have it, but their evolutions can't? Oh, now this just stings even more. And wait, don't tell me, there's more, right? Why am I not surprised? Number 18. Masquerade and Superior can't have pressure. Another one. And another one. And another one, and another one, and, and another, another one. one. I am hot enough! Enough! Number 19. Tinkaton can't have heavy metal. Um, even though she always carries around a huge metal hammer, the freaking thing's bigger than she is! In fact, it makes up almost the entirety of Tinkaton's weight. According to her Violet Dex Sentry, sorry, her hammer can weigh up to 220 pounds, and her overall weight is almost 250 pounds. So, let me get this straight. She can easily carry around a hammer that weighs over eight times as much as she does? I mean, I'm not trying to undermine girl power or anything, but it'd be an impressive feat for any living creature. So, my point remains, Tinkaton should be able to have heavy metal. Number 20. Galarian Slowking can't have healer. Look, just get over your Pokedex issues, please. According to its Scarlet one, it makes potions and uses them to heal weakened Pokemon. And bonus, it has a signature ability called Curious Medicine. All that seems like the very definition of a healer, but I guess Game Freak begs to differ. Uh, Slowking, can you make a potion for me, please? Number 21. Salamence can't have Anger Point. A lot of this Pokémon's, you know what, go on about how when it's angry, it loses all sense of control. So you'd think it'd be able to have Anger Point, no? Now, you could argue that this ability would make Salamence absolutely broken, just like Shell Smash might, but still. Oh, and there's more. Guess who else can't have Anger Point? More Peko. And guess who else can't have it? Corphish! Number 22. 
Halucha and Incineroar can't have Moxie. Now, I could explain this with words, but I think it'll be easier for you to get by just seeing for yourself. So check this out. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I can think of a few other Pokémon on whom Moxie might fit, but these two are definitely the most deserving, if you ask me. Number 23. The Loyal 3 and Petruns can't have long reach. So what's one thing these four are all known for? Their long, toxic chains, which they attack with all the time. And yet, they can't have long reach. And just like that, we can add four more to the massive list. Anyone else want to join while I'm at it? Oh, big surprise. Number 24. Gliscor can't have Infiltrator. For your sake, I really hope you've gotten over your Pokédex problems by now, because a lot of Gliscor's entries say things like it dances silently through the sky and its flight is soundless, and you'd think skills like that would make anyone an Infiltration Master. And bonus, Gliscor can learn both Brick Break and Psychic Fangs. So yeah, I gotta call bullcrap. Just like I've done so, I've lost track of how many times already. But I'm not quite done yet, we still have one more. Oh, do your worst, Game Freak. And finally, number 25. Marini and Toxapex can't have... Hey, hey, welcome to this new and improved YouTube channel. The first thing I'm gonna say is that y'all should give up on Pokemon and come play Power World instead. It's so much more fun. Hey! Who the f*** are you? Where did you come from? I was in rehab. Oh, just get out of here, would ya? Alright, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, lousy Pal World mongers. Well, at least she didn't close my tabs. I wonder where I left off. D wait a minute, it was at that point where I ended up in rehab, wasn't it? Maybe it's better I don't look, or else all my progress will go down the drain. So, I think I'll just close it, spare myself the headache. Save file changes? Eh, I don't think it's worth it. Well, back to rehab I go. And that's that, yet another 25 abilities Pokémon should or shouldn't have. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll drop a like, and if you happen to have any ideas for a sixth video, I hope you'll leave a comment about them. And if you want to see more Pokémon videos like this, I hope you'll subscribe. Hey hey! Thank you very much for watching! See you in the next one! Cacophonous Corefish out!